Welcome to FinSuite Cookie Consent for Webflow. I'm Joe Krug, founder of FinSuite. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about cookie consent in Webflow. Welcome to the script attributes walkthrough where we talk about how to add attributes to your scripts to prevent them from loading on the page until the user accepts cookies. This is really important. This is a big, big reason why a lot of free tools are difficult to use. Free tools will give you the option to create the components and show and hide things and give cookies to make sure we know what the user selected. But making these scripts stop running usually requires JavaScript and JavaScript knowledge to implement. In our system, we have attributes that will do all the work for you. And that's what we're going to do. Add these attributes to scripts to say, hey, don't load these scripts until the user accepts cookies. This is GDPR compliant, and this is what we will learn right now. Here we are in the documentation in setup on option three. If you have followed the last two videos, we built our components, we built our preference center, we have everything ready to go, and now we actually have to be GDPR compliant and stop these scripts from running. Here we go. We're on step four of option three. This is the same walkthrough if you're on option two as well. We'll be going over the type attribute, we'll be going over the categories attribute, and then we'll be adding the library script, which is something you cannot forget to do. Well, you can't forget any of, the, any of these things, so let's go through them now. Okay, type equals FSCC as an attribute to all scripts that issue cookies. Super important. Let's look at what this looks like. This is Google Analytics with FinSuite Cookie Consent and without. Watch as I toggle this, we have one important change. Type equals FSCC. And that's all we're going to do here. We're just adding type equals FSCC. Let's go to Facebook and you'll see that type equals FSCC again. And if I toggle it, you'll see that toggling as well. You'll also see the no script being removed because that's not GDPR compliant. A quick why? GDPR requires that you accept cookies before giving them. You accept any kind of tracking before before having being tracked. So no script is going to load when JavaScript is turned off. If JavaScript's turned off, FinSuite cookie consent cannot run, and therefore that no script is going to be given to you. We're being tracked, and that is not GDPR compliant. This is not specific just to FinSuite cookie consent. A lot of cookie consent tools are JavaScript based, and because of that, if JavaScript's off, it's not going to work. So no script. See you later. All right, we're going to do that. Then we're going to add the JavaScript file, and then we're going to get into the categories. All right, actually, I'm going to do this right now. This is an easy one. Let's go and copy this cookie consent library. This is the this is what we created for you, FinSuite Cookie Consent. All the code in here is going to make these attributes come to life. So let's go into our project, and we are going to paste this at the end of the scripts. Again, at the end, not in the beginning of the head, after all of the scripts that we want to turn off until the user accepts. So we're down here, we've pasted it in the correct place, and we'll save those changes, make sure we're good. Okay, now back up to the type. So we just went over this, and we're going to go do it. Type equals FSCC. And let's do a type equals... FSCC. There we go. We have just implemented the type attribute. And now Google Analytics is not going to run on the page until the user accepts. Let's now do the same thing with Facebook Pixel. And watch how this is colorful right here. And if I go add the type equals FSCC, it's not going to be colorful anymore. It's now black. Why? It's colorful with all the colors because it's JavaScript. The browser recognizes it as JavaScript and it's going to make it look nice for us. By adding this type attribute, we're telling the browser, this is not JavaScript. It's not going to know it's JavaScript. And because of that, it's not going to run when the page loads. So it does not know that this is JavaScript 
and it's just going to treat it as nothing as yeah i i as nothing it it won't know what to do with it so when the user accepts this library is going to say okay let's switch this type it is javascript and let's go fire it let's run it so we are going to be able to run or not run these scripts with based on the user's consent selection that's great okay and remember no script see you later so we've removed the no script that is not gdpr compliant and there we go we have the type in there and i'm going to save those changes now this is not the end of the video we have to go and add the category tags but before we add the category attributes i'm going to explain how we are not using the integrations tab if you are using the integrations tab and you have google analytics in here or the facebook pixel in here that is not what we can use we have to add our type attributes and we cannot do that here we are going to go and add the, where is this the ip anonymization we're going to add this this is an important piece we don't need this button for it you'll also see in webflow's facebook pixel section they are trying to make you GDPR compliant. It requires a few more steps, and I do not think you should be doing this. Instead, the FinSuite cookie consent option is, in my opinion, a lot easier. We are adding JavaScript here. We're adding interactions here, and we are giving some IDs. We just need the attributes in our system. Type equals FSCC. We have our components. We have our attributes. Done. We are going to go and use this anonymize here. So I have this ready to go. Let's go back to the custom code. This is something you should absolutely do to be GDPR compliant. And I will go and paste this in here. So look at this. We are going to anonymize the IP true. And you can go and use this inside Google Analytics to make sure that we are not grabbing the user's IP address. Great, let's go and save these changes and we are good to continue moving forward to the categories section. We're back in the docs, we're going to go in the preference manager tab here, which is an add-on for option two and three. The preference manager is all about categorizing your scripts and the categorization of scripts is something that is required with GDPR so that users can turn on and off different categories. So we are setting up the UI here in previous videos. We've done this. We have not done this. And now we need to make sure that these toggles are actually toggling the right scripts. This is not an automatic thing the browser knows. The browser does not know what Facebook is or what Google is. So we need to say, hey, this is a marketing script, or this is an analytics script, or this is an analytics and marketing script. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go and let's paste this right away for Google Analytics. FSCC categories equals analytics. So I'll go in here and I'm going to paste this text. Oh, I just did. And hold on first, let's get a little bit of color in here. So I'll just reload this page and there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go and paste this in as plain text and we have FSCC categories equals analytics. Great, I'll do the same thing here. I'm pasting it in FSCC categories equals analytics. Now we're saying Google Analytics is an analytics script. So inside that preference manager, when I turn on analytics, it is going to say Google Analytics can load. If Analytics is off, Google Analytics will not load on the page. Excellent. And now let's go into Facebook, and this one I'll type out. We'll do FSCC categories equals, let's do analytics. And I'll, man, I probably should have just copied. I don't know how to spell that. And marketing, great. Look at what I did here. This is analytics and marketing. So we're going to comma separate both values. And that way, this will, this will be classified under a marketing script and an analytics script. You can also just keep it as marketing or just keep it as analytics. 
Uh, but know that you can apply multiple. You can even do personalization at the end of this. Great. Okay. And you have to do this for all of your scripts. If you're using a LinkedIn or Twitter or HubSpot or Marketo or anything else that is issuing cookies, you're going to go ahead and do the type equals FSCC and then categorize it. And that's it. We just went through everything you need to know about applying attributes to your scripts. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.